Hi, welcome back to Collecting Canadian Cavalry and Armour. Today we're going to take a look at a very interesting uh, cavalry regiment, the 2nd 10th Dragoons out of Brantford, Ontario. The 2nd 10th Dragoons is a, was an amalgamation of two different regiments, as you can imagine, the 2nd Dragoons and the 10th Dragoons. The 2nd Dragoons were uh, formed in May of 1872 and pretty much kept their, the same badges all the way through until the amalgamation after World War I, 19, actually 1936. The 25th Brant Dragoons, however, were formed in 1909 as the 25th Brant Dragoons. And their badges are uh, very interesting. They have a beautiful helmet plate and uh, some other, you know, some wonderful cap badges. They were reorganized in 1920 as the 10th Brant Dragoons and then amalgamated in 1936. They uh, kept that designation throughout the war, uh, where unfortunately for them, they had to serve as infantry and then later on as recce here in Canada. Uh, they were uh, allied with the uh, Royal Canadian Dragoons. In 1946-47, they uh, changed over to become uh, light anti-aircraft. And alas, we lost another good regiment from the Corps. So let's take a, a closer look at some of the badges. Okay, so let's have a closer look at these badges. First, we're going to start off with the 2nd Dragoons. And again, like I said, they were formed in May of 1872 from eight independent cavalry regiments in the St. Catharines area. <clears throat> now, this is the cap badge. Unfortunately, it's missing uh, one of the uh, one of the logs, but doesn't take, once you're displaying it, it really doesn't take that away. And we've got the, uh, we've got the collar badges and the brass shoulder titles for the 2nd Dragoons. They amalgamated with the 10th Brant Dragoons in 1936. Now, the 10th Brant Dragoons actually started their life as the 25th Brant Dragoons. And this is the helmet plate for those beautiful brass Dragoon helmets that I like so much. Now, I don't have the helmet yet, but my friend, uh, the commanding officer, uh, his handle on Facebook, I know he, he claims to have three, so if you're listening, Greg, give me a call. Maybe we can take one of those off your hand, just saying. Now, we have a, a nice set of collar badges here. Unfortunately, they're not a matching set. As you can see, these lugs are orientated east-west, while these ones here are a different manufacturer. This one is William Scully, you can see right here. And these are orientated north-south. Unfortunately, I have two of these and only one of these, so I've got a mismatch uh, set. If there's anybody out there, give me a call. Now, we go over here to the 10th Brant Dragoons. Uh, again, beautiful badges. You can see how they uh, kept the, uh, the same color badges. And actually, the hat badge is the same as well, except for replacing the 25 with the 10 and we have the nice 10th uh, Dragoons shoulder title. In 1936 they amalgamated with the 2nd uh, Dragoons to form the 2nd 10th and here we have an example of the cap badge and the collar badges. You'll notice and this happens quite often during uh, amalgamations where they'll keep the hat badge from one unit and the collar badges from the 2nd with, with just, just like a quick little name change. Now there is a brass 10th uh, Dragoons shoulder title like we have here. I'm trying to find one of those. I do know of a bumped in with a fellow who claims to have three and again he's not selling me one. Maybe, maybe, maybe he'll change his mind. But this is the, the cloth shoulder title that was used during the Second World War for the 2nd 10th Dragoons. So everybody, a quick little overview of uh, the second tenth dragoon stuff and i hope you found it very informative so let's go back to the books so this is a quick look at uh, some of the badges that i have in my collection it's not a complete collection yet but i'm working on it the nice thing about regiments like this sometimes it can be pretty hard to find and that's half of the fun of collecting now most of the information that uh, i forwarded on to you guys came out of chris brooker's Brooker's uh, Badges of the Canadian Army, 1920 to Unification, Volume 6. Chris does a wonderful job of giving us some historic context 
and uh, different information of not only about the badges but about the regimen as well. Again, guys, you got to spend the money on the books. So important. <clears throat> and as I mentioned, not a complete collection yet, but I do know what to look for because of Daniel Musaeus's wonderful book on militia cap badges. So you can see that the uh, second dragoons had a larger helmet plate. They actually had two, and this would have gone on to the probably the white uh, helmet uh, that they used in the late 1800s. And again, you can see this thing. Now, years ago, I actually had one before I was in collecting Canadian cavalry and armor, and I ended up selling it. Who would have thought? Anyway, mistakes like that happen. And then over here, we see that this is the cap badge for the 25th Brent Dragoons. I don't have one yet, but now at least I know what I'm looking for. And again, guys, spend the money on the books. It's, it's so worth it in the long run. Uh, really, I can't emphasize that enough. So I hope everybody found this at least interesting. And if you have anything that I'm missing, please give me a call. Send up, put a comment down. I'd love to be able to uh, fill out my collection. Anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed this episode. Happy collecting.